This is the Traders Exclusive Live Trader Showcase. This is a quarterly event where we feature expert traders, our year-end edition of the Live Trader Showcase. So please check out tradersexclusive.com where we regularly post our video clips with valuable trading tips and techniques. That's also where you're going to find the recordings of today's webinar. And of course, I'll send you an email so you can find them. Uh, before we get started, you know the drill. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data, and recommendations are subject to change at any time. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. And that is our cue to get started. This is our lineup. We want to thank our sponsors for December. We have Blue Chip Sponsors, Market Taker Mentoring, Hit and Run Candlesticks, and Vantage Points. And our IPO sponsor is Moomin. Let's welcome Sunny Harris. She's a mathematician, programmer, and author, but primarily a full-time trader for the past 40 plus years. She's a frequent contributor to trading magazines and speaks at trading webinars and seminars. She's also published Traders Catalog and Resource Guide, the TCNRG magazine for eight years, beginning in 1993. In 1995, she began sponsoring The Money Mentor on the internet and was rated number one trader in the under $10 million category two years in a row by Stark Research. She achieved 365% and 178% profit in those two years. Sunny has published eight books. Check her out on Amazon for sure. Welcome, Sunny. Thanks for being with us. Here we go. My passion, while trading is my first life, my first love, my really true passion is in helping beginners and intermediate traders. So this talk is for you, traders who have not yet become wildly successful and want to be, and people who have not traded much and want to learn. So I have students that range anywhere from I don't have any idea what a stock is to Let's write a bunch of code together that does what my strategy is. So we have a full range of people over here. So anybody that wants to improve their trading results, that's who I really like to work with. I love to teach and mentor and do consulting. And I don't know anybody else that puts their cell phone out there, but that's my cell phone number. 760-908-3070. Give me a call. I don't mind a bit. Uh, it's important for you to know. And if you would read this, please, on my website, it's the bottom of every single page. Trading and investing are risky businesses. Past performance is not a predictor of future results. All investing involves risk of loss and individual investments may vary. The examples provided uh, in this presentation are not are, are hypothetical and not necessarily represented representative of typical re, sorry typical results your capital is at risk when you invest and you can lose some or all of your money and we all do it over and over so never risk more than you can afford to lose so if you I will be uh, posting the PDF of this on my website, which you'll see at the bottom is moneymentor.com. So if you go to moneymentor.com, you can read these disclosures at the bottom of every page. Please do so. <sighs> Next month, I will have been trading for 43 years. I trade futures and stocks and crypto, but I do not trade options. I found out real fast that I can lose at those a little bit at a time. And I, I could call the direction correctly, but I could never make the options make money. So I'll tell you a little bit about myself and then I'm gonna show you how I trade. I've been a professional trader since 1981 through the 41% crash of 1987, the 38% crash of 2000, the 52% crash, oh, it says of crash, of 2007 to 2008 as well as the 38% COVID crash. I primarily trade the S&P 500 futures contract. It's called the E-mini. 
and I trade on one and five minute charts. So I trade really fast. I trade uh, three to five times a day, every day. And I also host a live trading room on Wednesday mornings early. If anybody would like to come, just shoot me an email. Sunny at moneymentor.com. I've heard it said that the E-mini is one of the most difficult markets to trade. But to me, you know, I've been doing it for so long that I, I feel it. I have a sense of how it trades. And it is the most liquid contract. And it's the most con most traded contract in the world. I like that you can get in and out quickly. You can get in and out with size. It doesn't, doesn't even blink. I also have long-term stock holdings. I have a different portfolio that I trade stocks in, but I trade stocks on a daily chart, not on one and five minute charts. I trade stocks longer term. To me, long-term is a couple of weeks. And I do trade a little bit of cryptocurrencies. I, I uh, trade Ethereum because I can afford it. So today I'm going to show you how I trade. We're going to look at sunny bands and my dynamic moving averages and a little bit of Fibonacci. I think I took the Elliott out, so Fibonacci. If you want to see how I do this, I put out every Sunday night uh, sunny side of the street technical newsletter. And if you want to sign up, I'll give you a free one. It is by subscription. And I do explain my indicators, what they're telling me. And I look at 15 different markets to cover the broad variety of things you might be interested in. If you can't find it, sunny at moneymentor.com and I'll email you back. Or when I post this presentation, you can click above and get it that way. Just sign up for it. So I, I will be posting uh, this talk on my, on my website on the membership page. Membership is free, so all you have to do is sign up and you get a password. I do also a free podcast called The Sonny Harris Show with Samuel K. Tennis. And we, in, we interview famous traders and authors. It's the gurus from our industry that we talk to. So please check it out. It's on Spotify primarily. This is what my newsletter looks like. I give all, all kinds of symbols and uh, the positions of the sunny bands and what the sell signals and buy signals are so you can see those. I also give a vantage point prediction for the next day. Vantage point is kind of expensive, but it's amazing. So if you want a free look at it once a week, there it is on the sunny side of the street. So just quickly, I was number one trader twice, rated by Stark Research, and I was using Sunny Bands and my dynamic moving average to do it. And you see right there at the top, Rourke International is my company. So I, I grew up dirt poor in Appalachia, it's true. And now I have three degrees in mathematics and another one in telecommunications and photography. I've been programming for 54 years and 42 years trading. I need to update those by one. And I was a, originally a systems programmer for Lockheed. And then I was uh, in with a group of guys who uh, founded a little company called ISCO, which became the world leader in computer graphics software. I retired from that company when I was 30 and I gave my money to money managers but they lost $75,000 in three weeks. And to me, that was a little too much. So I taught myself to trade through reading lots and lots of books. Uh, if you attend my live trading room or any of my live talks, you'll see behind me, there's a big bookcase of lots and lots of books. So I love collecting trading books. But I didn't enter a single trade for the first year. All I did was watch. I watched, I charted data, I tried to draw conclusions. I used Wells Wilder's book and calculated RSI and ADX. It's, it's, it was quite a labor, but it took me a year to, to feel the market. You, know, you have to feel it. Okay, five best-selling trading books. Trading 101, Trading 102, Electronic Day Trading 101, 
Getting Started in Trading and Trade Station Made Easy. Those were the books that I had written up to last month. Oh, and a friend of mine, Linda Blair, and I wrote Going Vegan. And now we have the Definitive Guide to Trade Station's Easy Language and OOEL Programming with my writing partner, Samuel K. Tennis. I've written articles for all the magazines, still do, lots of them, and more. And here are the books. You see all the different covers. Oh, and using Easy Language 9.x with Murray Ruggiero. And this is the magazine that I published for eight years, Traders Catalog and Resource Guide. And there's the new book, volume one and volume two. Uh, enlisted all the time in the top 10 consultants, top 10 courses and seminars. I belong to all the prominent organizations. And here, this is my quips and quotes page on Money Mentor. And I, I post everything I get. So if it's a negative comment, I post it. If it's positive, I comment. But I mean, I post it. But I love this one. I just wanted to update you on how trading is going with Sunny Bands. I hope I'm not jinxing myself by telling you this. But I'm so happy with your indicators that I wanted to share with you. From the start of my trial on August 29 until I purchased your bands, your indicators, on September 6, my portfolio was up 28%. Not bad for a seven day free trial, right? From the start of the trial to today, my portfolio is up 74%. Thank you so much for your help and your indicators. I have so much more confidence in trading now and I'm still learning. I can only see things improving from here. Thank you so much, Margaret. And she, she's a nurse and she can't trade full time, but she's doing phenomenally well and still is. And that's what I'm used to is people getting a free trial and calling me up and telling me how much money they made for free with my software. I love that. I have a Facebook page also. And you can look at Facebook and I, from time to time I post predictions there. You can also subscribe to Sunny Side of the Street, which is my Sunday night newsletter. I spend my whole weekend working, walking, writing it. And I have customers just everywhere. It doesn't matter if you're in the U.S. or not. I talk to all over the world. First thing I want to talk to you about is how to make a six-figure income. So today in my live trading room, I netted, in 45 minutes, I netted $1,089. $500 a day is $120,000 a year. Now, who wouldn't want that? So $1,000 a day is 240,000 a year. That's how you make a six figure income. So let's look at 120,000 a year first. If you divide that by 12 months, imagine why it shows that number. You get $10,000 a month. Well, that still seems like an awful lot to have to make trading when you're nervous about it. But $10,000 a month divided by 20 trading days is $500 a day. And that's how you break it down. So you can say, all right, $500 a day is 120 a year. Go home when you make that. So it's really just five trades at $100 each. It's usually between $1,000 and $3,500 a day potential in the S&P. Going both long and short, just one contract. Let's look at how I trade. I'm going to break it all down and show you exactly how I trade. Uh, the next few images do look complex, but they're really not if you see what's on there. And I use coding key keys to spur me into action. So I, I color code everything and I use the same colors across every chart. So here's the Dow Jones. How do you know, Diane? Can you answer that, please? Here's the Dow Jones, so you can see what that looks like. And how do you know whether to, how to get it? I mean, it's pretty clear what the bottom is, you know, six weeks later. But how do you know before that happens so that you can catch these moves? Well, let's look. And the chart really doesn't tell you much. In fact, it just looks kind of scary. It looks like it goes up and down too fast so that you're going to lose your money. 
So is it going down further or is it at a bottom already? Or is it going to turn around? What is high and what is low? It's all relative. So when do you enter? Now that's the real question. When do you enter and when do you exit? So the first thing I do with every chart is put this little dot on there. That tells me exactly where current price is. Now I use trade station and these charts are all by trade station. And these indicators are things that I've written over the years to make my tra trading life easier. It's all about me being able to make more money. So this is called current price and it just puts a dot that goes up and down, up and down, bouncing as price changes. Next, I add Fibonacci retracement lines to my chart because I want to see what the natural extensions and retracements are. And you can see, hits it right here, goes below it, hits it again. This one hits the 38% up here, hits the 61% again down here. It's over and over again. And a lot of people tell me, yeah, well, Fibonacci's magic, but it's not. It really works. Next, I add what I call attractors. Okay, these orange lines show me the preponderance of price activity. So you see we've got a bunch of stagnation over here on the left. Hits this line again. Right there from those two points is where I drew that line. Now you can see it's back and forth across it again. Comes back down, touches it again. Here we have another touch and then a break. So these things I call attractors, and they're not just trend lines. Oops, I mean, not just horizontal lines, but there are two trend lines you can see. Now those are attractors to me as well. And the Fibonacci is a, an attractor as well. So we're gonna put some of my indicators on there. Sunny bands, the dynamic moving average histogram. I'm not gonna add all time high and low to this one. All right, so now you see my sunny bands. You see green outer bands on the top and the bottom. Those are the upper outer and lower outer bands. And then you see the teal line inside of that. There's another channel. And these two channels, well, let me show you first. The gold and purple lines are my dynamic moving average. Gold and purple in the center. And Primarily, when gold is on top, I want to be long, and when purple's on top, I want to be short. That's an overarching configuration. But then there are rules, and you can download my rules on moneymentor.com. It's called Sunny Dance Rules, and it gives you a clue to when we're at the bottom I'm about to go up. So you go up through here, and then you go short, you hit the flat DMA, and you go long again. We hit the flat DMA. Here we go along for a little bit of a losing trade. So these bands tell me exactly where I'm supposed to be trading. And there are rules that go with them. So the magic is the dynamic moving average, which calculates its own inputs. Instead of a moving average like 9 and 18 for the two fast and slow links, this one you don't put in an input. It calculates its own inputs. In internally in the mathematics and they change with every tick of the market so it's constantly recalibrating and that's why it doesn't produce whipsaw the histogram you see on the bottom of this chart gold and red lines above the zero purple and green lines below the zero line this is an early warning system that tells me when the market's turning for instance, when it goes from gold up here to red, that tells me we've got a turn right there. So I use these two together. These are my, my mainstay, the staples of all my trading. I could not trade without these two. And that's the dynamic moving average histogram. No, it's not an MACD histogram. Now I can see something on the chart because I added attractors. And they're not just support and resistance. Trend lines are attractors. Moving averages are attractors. The, uh, my recession indicator is an attractor. Fibonacci retracements are attractors. All of these things, LA waves are attractors. Price is attracted to these areas. So let's go a little farther. Okay, so we've got our trend lines on. And we see sunny bands on the... And we see our Fibonacci lines. So the green line is the lower outer band on the bottom. 
in the upper outer band on the top. And we're primarily looking for price to go above the outer band and come back down, below the lower outer band and come back up. The next rule is when the DMA is flat, you can see how it's going along here sideways. All I'm expecting is congestion. The overarching rule with that is if the DMA is flat, stay out. I'd rather look for trends. Then I have another indicator that I call PHW. That stands for potential hourly wage. PHW is yellow dots on the chart. So let's talk about that for a minute. I asked the question very early on in my trading career, can you make more money by trading or working at McDonald's? If you can't make more than $18 an hour trading, you should be doing something else. So when you come to me and say, oh, I'm doing okay, I've, I'm negative for the last three years, that's not a good hourly wage, so we need to talk. So these dots, these yellow dots that I'm going to put on the chart are at the ideal turning points. No, they're not something you can achieve consistently, but they are at the ideal. And we want to look at that and see what's possible. So I take 60% of the ideal as my goal because I figure I can lose 20% on the entry and get out 20% on the exit. So I'm losing 40%, which leaves me 60%. And that's just, I just like to analyze, analyze everything logically. So you can see the yellow dots here, 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 yellow dots at all the perfect turning points. Now, the cool thing about this indicator, uh, let's go back. Cool thing about the indicator is, sorry about that, is that uh, it's not on this chart, but at the end of the chart, if you set it to print, it will print the ideal the PHW, the buy and hold, the date span of the chart, and how many ideal trades there were. So what I do is I put that in a radar screen and I compare the symbol as I'm interested in trading and figure out what the PHW is. If the PHW is too low, it's not worth trading. So if you look at buy and hold on the Dow, if you buy at the beginning of the chart at 2020, and sell at the end of the chart, you can make $34,000 in uh, three years. So 60% of the ideal on the same chart is $327,000 for trading as opposed to buy and hold. So it's like 10 times as much. It's quite a difference. Let's look at Ethereum just for a second. There's a chart and it's not the most recent chart because it's been going up very nicely but this is a chart of Ethereum and same idea holds. We go from the top band to the bottom band. Here, this one is spread out so you can see it a little better and you can see how it, and as long as gold is on top and it's above the gold line following that outer band, I stay long. Here we have a flat DMA. I don't want to do anything. Here we go from the bottom again towards the top and we take a little bit of a launch straight there. So let's look at buy and hold for a second. If you had bought that at the beginning of the chart and held to now, you could make $1,000. Versus if you were trading all those yellow dots, except we take 60% of that, then you could have made 23,000 trading on a daily chart with one share. So let's look at the same idea on Tesla. It shows you the yellow dots. It shows you the sunny bands and the histogram. Everything I need to know is on this chart. I have one more indicator that I have to have when I'm trading live, and that is called Bing Text, and it makes a little, plays a little wave file with every tick of the market, so I know whether the market went up or down or sideways, and how fast it's going. If it's not going very fast, I don't want to be trading. And that's free if anybody wants it. It's on moneymentor.com. So Tesla on that longer term chart, because it's daily, made $237 from beginning to end while trading made over 2000 per share. Looking at the same idea on the S&P. Well, here you can see the writing. It's kind of overridden itself. But you can see the ideal number of trades, the date span. 
the PHW uh, and the ideal profit or loss. And under that, buy and hold kind of overridden everything. But that's what the S&P looks like on a daily chart. If you bought at the beginning of this chart for buy and hold, it'd be 31.55, but trading was 35.651 per share. 60% of the ideal. So an investor's chart is a long-term thing. You have to sit through downdrafts and updrafts and all kinds of reports, but that's what a, an investor's chart looks like, 31,550, 31,555. But a trader's view, we've got these yellow dots now that help us figure out exactly where the ideal trades would have been. See, you can see each one of them here at all these dots. And it's trade by trade by trade. And that's what a trader's view looks like as opposed to buy and hold or buy and take the long swing trade. And they meant that way they made 35,000. So my indicators work on any symbol on any time frame. And here's the 15 minute ES. So you can see I've got another indicator that makes my life easy. I've painted the bars different colors depending on whether it's in the after hours session or the day session. So the day session is green and red bars and the night session is blue and magenta bars. So I can at a glance look there and see would I be trading or not. <clears throat> it's just so much easier for me to read color coding. Same thing on a five minute chart of the ES. So we've got blue and magenta for night session and red and green for day session. And you can see where all the trades are on the sunny bands. When we get to the flat DMA on the right hand edge, we do nothing. So that's that's where you get out and don't do anything. The one of the hardest things as a trader is to be patient. Sometimes you have to sit and wait sometimes for hours. In my live trading room this morning. We waited and waited and waited while it went sideways. Uh, we made three trades before that, but then it was just so calm and so sideways, we couldn't do anything. So that was the end of that session. Same thing on the one minute ES, you can see how it moves within the sunny bands. As I said, sunny bands works on any time frame and any symbol. So how do you know in 1982, you should buy Apple for 12 cents and hold it for 40 years. I'll tell you how I know. I look at Sunny Bands, the histogram, and my PHW indicators, and I've got it analyzed mathematically. I mean, that's, you know, that's my background. That's what I do. The Sunny Bands indicator, I'll tell you how I derive that. It's an offshoot of my dynamic moving average indicator. Uh, this one was designed to allow me to investigate excursions from the DMA, both favorable and adverse. And the bands themselves are average true ranges away from the dynamic moving average. It's as simple as that. No, they're not like Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands, yes, they're bands, and so are my bands, and so are Keltner Channel's bands. But that's where the, the lightness stops. His bands use a simple moving average and standard deviations away from it. The standard deviations, to my mind, tell the market where it should go. And the simple moving average is the one with the most whipsaw. So I wouldn't use either one of those. My DMA is smooth and it dan dances seamlessly with the market. And I use average true ranges, which ask where the market has been and hopefully is going based on past behavior. Simple moving averages. These are two of them right there. That's a, looks like it's a 21 and a 55. I think that's what I sort of standardly use. And you can see why I don't like moving averages, simple moving averages. Over here, we cross over and go down and the signal comes right down here near the bottom. And then we cross over again and we get in at a local high there. <laughs> So we're kind of stuck already. Then when we have a trend, they're fine. We've got this trend all the way over to here. 
and crossovers right here. So this is where we get short. That's kind of enough reason why I don't like them, isn't it? Here they are in a shorter time frame, and you can see crossover, 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 crossover. It just drives you crazy with whipsaw. I realized that very early in my trading career, and I set out to find something that wouldn't do that. And that's how I came up with my dynamic moving average. Problem with move, simple moving averages and exponentials are worse is that you get so many late signals and you have whipsaws all over the place. So if I put them both on a chart, you can see the purple and gold. It's kind of messy, but you can see the purple and gold lines. These are my DMA. And you can see how early they would, if you just use the DMA itself, how early they would get into that trade and into the short and then back into the long. But they don't cross over back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like simple moving averages do and exponential. Let's look at that a little closer. You can see the gold and purple. And see, look here, through this whole sideways period through here, they didn't cross over. That's why they're not like other moving averages. Here it is even closer. So you can see that that moving average moves out of the way when the market starts sideways and it follows closely in trends, which is kind of backwards from what everything else does. So two things are unique. Primarily, the DMA is unlike anybody else's moving average. Several people have tried to create what they call adaptive moving averages, but they, they don't work like this one does. It calculates its own links dynamically within the program. And on top of that, I think that the market moves about as much as it usually moves. So that led me to use the average true range indicator to measure how much it usually moves. Does that make sense? It's just logical stuff, you know. People ask me if I, they have to know as much math as I do to trade the market. The answer is no, clearly, no. All you have to be is logical. You have to have nerve and you have to be logical. And patience helps a lot. So my basic Sunny Bands rules are like this. When the market's going up on, I use blue candles on my chart, but blue, green, it's the same, up candles. So when the market's going up on blue candles and gets above the upper outer band and turns red and dips below the upper outer band, I go short. There you go. That's one rule. When the market's going down on red candles and gets below the lower outer band and turns blue or green and pops above the lower outer band, I go long. Right there, that's most of it. That's the first set of rules. There are a few more complex rules too. Let's look at this. Uh, you can see I've marked the trades on here with vertical lines, blue for buy and red for sell. And you can see how close all these trades get to the turning points. They're usually a bar too late, you can see that, because I ask for confirmation before I enter a trade. When I get a, a long signal, which occurred on this bar right here, so I get a long signal, I don't go long until it's confirmed. So that's where I went long on that one. Then I get into a flat DMA period where I'm sitting here doing nothing, and then we go long again. So there's a swing traders chart. Where'd the rest of the Sunny Vance rules go? Let's get out of that. I'm sorry, we've got a bunch of stuff that I don't need in here. So anyway, in the same amount of time, the investor made $168 a share, the trader made $299 per share, and the day trader made $610 per share. So if you'd started with 100 shares as a trader, the investor made $16,000 and the trader made $29,000. Yes, it's a lot of work, but it's worth a lot of money. The day trader, however, made 61 grand. And of course, this is all hypothetical. It's just me measuring the chart. So in the same amount of time, a starting value of 47 cents in 1981 for Apple, current price at this time was 156. The investor made 399%, which is great. Trader, however, made 635%, which is even greater. But the day trader made over 1,200%.
That's why I'm both a trader and an investor. Is it possible? Well, yes and no. You can't catch all the moves. It's never going to happen. How many holes in one have you had on the golf course? I've had one. According to my research, you can capture about 60% of each move when you're trading. And that's what's reflected in the PHW value. The investor must sit through long periods of scary negative markets. In fact, I have a, a strategy that I used to teach in a course that I used to do in person. Nobody does that anymore, but uh, it's the perfect system. It makes all of its trades are successful. Uh, it makes 100% successful trades, no losses. Problem is, you got to sit through a whole lot of down periods. And nobody's really willing to do that. So here go the rules again. Let's see, now we're back. So level one, Sunny Band's rules. That are long when red candles have been moving downward and touch the lower outer band. So here we see moving. Well, that's a better picture. So uh, on this one, it would have been moving down to the lower outer band, turning blue and moving up. So they have to go inside the lower outer band and then go long. I under short when blue candles have been moving up and touch the upper outer band and then the red candle starts down, I wait for the confirmation and go short. The other rule, which I explained to you throughout the presentation is if the midline is flat, that is the angle is virtually sideways. I don't expect price to move very far beyond the midline. In fact, it often acts as a barrier to further movement. And you can see in this little illustration, it moves up, gets right above this midline, can't do it, and comes back down again. And the overarching thing is when gold is on top and you have a positive slope, stay long until gold is penetrated. So you can see you stay long for all this, and here it's penetrated, so you exit. And if purple's on top, the opposite is true. We're going down. As long as we're going down, we stay with it. And now we've got a flat DMA. Purple's on top, but we've got a flat DMA and we exit. Now, with all that foundation, we can now look at the fast moving markets that I was talking about. So we're going to look at three real quick. The S&P, gold, and crude. So here's the S&P. This was yesterday. Oh no, this was Friday. So you can see here, this is a five minute chart. I've got sunny bands on it and the dynamic moving average. I've got a little indicator here that shows me where the market opened and what the low of the day was. And over here, it shows me the high of the day. Uh, I've got an indicator that tells me what day of the week it is. And as long as we're, we're long here, we're short here, we go long again as it crosses the DMA. So we're long through all of this, all the way up until we get red candles coming down. So we have to have two in a row red coming down and then we're short. Uh, on the bottom or in the middle, I have an indicator I called who's on top that paints uh, little dots to tell me when gold is solid like this and dark, it's, uh, I know that the gold line is on top. When gold is light, like right through here, that shows me that it's flat. So I, I can just at a glance tell if it's flat or who's on top. And this light purple, same kind of thing. It means purple's on top, but it's flat. So that's that little indicator. And on the bottom, I have slope, which tells me how, how far and how fast the market's moving. I want to know if we're in a trend or not. Here's gold, and you can see that the overnight session is relatively flat, and it does a little movement right in the beginning of the day, and then it just goes flat again all the way across. So to me, that doesn't look like a lot of fun to trade, but we'll see in just a minute. We're going to do something else so we know. And here's oil, crude light. And because of the scaling, that looks like it's not a lot more movement, but that's because gold popped up really harder before that chart started. 
So the same indicators are on this, the slope indicator and who's on top and sunny bands. And I've got something else in there. I've got these two moving averages. Actually, there are three moving averages. There's a blue one here as well. And these tell me at a glance whether I'm out, how I'm faring with the 2155 and 200 moving averages. So how are we going to decide which one of those three markets to move to a trade? Because they're, they're definitely moving very fast. So we're going to look at Radar Screen, which is a little program inside of TradeStation. And we want to see which symbol has the most potential. Which ones or one or ones should we trade? So here's the radar screen. I've got the ES, which is the S&P 500, crude line, and gold. And you can see that buy and hold is right here, 4,500 with the ES, $72 with crude, and 2,000 with gold. And again, it gives me the ideal values. That's if I could catch every yellow dot, which you can't. And then the 60% value, which is the PHW. So I'm looking at the E mini making 32 grand, crude making 13.99, and gold making 24. And you can see the number of trades on the ES and gold are less than on crude, which was probably very volatile. So that's what I look at. Where's the most money? That's all I care about. I'm looking for the one with the most power. There's only one reason to trade, and that's to make money. If you're doing it for the excitement or the challenge, you're in it for the wrong reason, and that's a good way to lose money. <sighs> Let's take some time to query the attendees and see if we can answer any questions before my time's up. Anybody want to chat with me? Where do I find the chat? I see the attendees list. Pull the questions box out. Is my audio better? All right. Your audio is way better. Unreal. It's the internet in this place. It's it's high All speed right. internet and it's wired internet and it sucks. Sorry ah. guys. Is that a bad word in your world? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid and shut up are bad words in my world with toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hi, Grant. Anybody asking questions? Let's see. I've got a Can question. you see that now? Now, one thing that I do that helps me, Sunny, is I click on the received column, so the little arrow is pointing up, and then that shows you the most recent comment right. or Drive question. Those attendees give away control. I don't. I don't see any, is the audience view? No. No, no. Um, Web audio dashboard attendees. Polls, questions, there it is. Questions, yeah, and you need to pop I that out that. and then you can click that received column so the arrow is up and that means then scroll all the way to the top and that's your most recent comment. Got it, got question. it. Thank you, Laura, so I've got no questions. Yeah, you've got questions. If you could go back in your early days of testing out the indicator you created, how would you back test? That's oh, cool. well, I, I, that's a very good question. <laughs> uh, I back tested back then with pencil and paper. And I used graph paper to draw my own charts. This was before computer software was out. I mean, this is back in the Stone Ages. So I tested with uh, then... Uh, a little bit later on, I tested with spreadsheets. So I did a lot of, I've got 18 boxes, uh, bankers boxes of research that I did to create the dynamic moving average. It took me three years to- Amazing. Three years to come up with it and perfect it. Mm. And then Does, uh, John, John, there's another one here. John says, uh, you use, you use these primarily on short term, one to two minutes on ES futures, question mark? No, I use exactly the same thing on my daily charts of stocks and my weekly charts of Bitcoin. So it's the exact same thing. It works on any symbol and on any time frame. So I use it on one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, daily and weekly. 
And then I think I have two that are very closely related. Frank wants to know, can I use these indicators on other platforms? And Gus asks, does your indicator work with NinjaTrader? Yes, it works with NinjaTrader. And yes, you can use it on NinjaTrader, MultiCharts, TradeStation, uh, and MetaStock next week. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then Naif, Naif, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your your name. Do you use the attractors solely on daily charts? Oh no, 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 no. I draw horizontal lines on everything. I <laughs> I draw trend lines on everything. I want to, and I put my Fibonacci on everything. So I I use them on daily. I use them on one minutes. I use them on five minutes. Everything. It's a general principle. It's one of those laws of physics. And then uh, Abdullah asked, uh, can you use the indicators on TC2000 charts? No, I'm afraid not. Uh, we've got multi-charts, trade station, traders workstation, meta stock, and ninja. Nice. So far. My next project, it's going to take me quite a while, is to do it on trading view. Okay. Anybody else? We have nine minutes left. Oh, well, let's see. A lot of good questions. <laughs> they were. Let's uh, sing songs and tell stories. <laughs> <laughs> I do anybody, have a video if, if they're done. Anybody, anybody that would like a free trial of uh, my indicators for those platforms I named, if you want a free trial, text me. Let's put my number up here. Uh, there's one. Let me go through that. This uh, I'm going to go through the rest of this in a minute, and then I'll give you my number. All so right. it's my cell phone. Text me, Sunny. Uh, I mean, uh, to the phone number, which is 760-908-3070. Just text the, the word free, and I will set you up with a free trial. Seven days of trading for free. And by far, people who take these free trials make enough money during the seven days to pay for the indicators. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. They do really, really well. And it involves two personal meetings with me over Zoom going over everything you should be doing. So it's, it's a lot of personal time, and it's, a, it's a fantastic indicators. Yes. So if you text the word trial to my cell phone, I'll say Trial or free? Oh, either one, <laughs> free or, <laughs> or free trial, then that's good. And if you already know that you'd like to have Sunny Bands, if you text the number three zero to me, I'll send you a special deal. Okay, now let's see. All the products are things I have programmed and were developed for use only in my own trading, and I do make them available to you. And not only that, I show you exactly how I use them. I already gave you all the rules, so we can go over those together, and I'll show you just exactly what I do. And I have a live trading room every Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. California time, and you can come to that for a couple of sessions for free. It's by subscription, but I'll let you come for free a couple of times, and you can see how I use them in real life. So if you go to moneymentor.com and click on order form, you'll see all my products. Or you can go to products and it brings up all the charts of the products. And again, I don't hold anything back. I'll train you to use them for free. Like I said, I do have a special bundle offer. If you type three zero to me by text, we can set you up with that. That's good till December 25th. I put all of that in the chat so everybody should be able oh. to see your number. Let me just make sure I put your number in right. 760-908-3070. That's it. It's at the bottom of every slide. Perfect. Got it. And I like to be called because, you know, trading is a lonely business. It so can be very quiet, right? <laughs> yeah. Give me a call. I'm serious. Or text 30 to me at my cell phone. And let's see, there's a bunch of stuff on my website. I did a strategy trading forum, free for anybody who joins as a free member. 
four sessions, and then I did a technical analysis forum. So if you want to talk about technical analysis, it's free. And it's never too late to download them and take a look. You can get the slides and the videos both. And then I did, in July, I did an easy language forum with Sam Tennis, and it costs a little bit. It's five one-hour sessions at $79.95. And you can see them all at moneymentor.com. I do offer education and consulting, easy language programming services, mentoring. I have a complete bookstore. If you go to books on Money Mentor, you can see all kinds of trading books. There are no novels, just trading books. <laughs> That's and, what you have to do next. <laughs> a, tra a trading novel. <laughs> well, I've done eight of them. Oh, wow. Well, not novels. They're they're just books. But that would be a fun. romantic a romantic comedy. <laughs> well, how, how about a romantic murder mystery? I like. Oh, that. there we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the these are the indicators I use myself in my own trading. I don't hold anything back. I do sunny sunny side of the street every Sunday night. And if you order before the end of this coming week, it's 30% off on all indicators and mentoring, which is take that takes my hourly rate down quite a bit. Or if you or that's supposed to be 1231. If you if you hold off and don't get it right away, it's only going to be 15% off instead of 30% off. And this is the last sale of the year, and I don't know when I'm going to do another. And again, if you want the seven day free trial, you can email me, you can call me, or you can text me. Free or trial or free trial. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry and Dan. Thank you. I, thank I, you I so much. Enjoy, I always enjoy talking for you so much. And thank you for your attendance audience. Do give me a call. I love to visit. All right. Mm. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you being with us. That was great. Thank you, Sherry. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye.